Well, that worked out pretty well. Very quiet. And not really to get. But, um, yeah, I'm quite, quite chuffed with that. So, just switch it off. We've got, um, it's an AC motor on there at the moment. I may even just keep that. There's plenty of torque, a ridiculous amount of torque. As you can see, the motor's huge compared with the, the lathe. But the lathe is just something else. It really is lovely. It's really no backlash at all there. Um, and this is beautiful carriage. It's got a, a stop to stop you crashing into the just here. Excellent. Really pleased. Bits missing. There's a tail stock um, part here that goes through here, which has got the can either have a drill chuck or um, a center, center um, live center um, and a lever here. But the lever that comes with it is pretty crap. So most people make really nice ones. And that's what I plan to do. The tail stuck's good. You can move this backwards and forwards that way, which means you can um, you can do tapered um, tapering. Uh, yeah, no, I like it. Fifteen inch bed, which is a standard bed. There is a longer one, but I can't see any point in that. Um, and I think it's got a. You can see it's got a, a rack and pinion here. But um, what I think I'll do is I'll put a. I'm going to put um, a lead screw in here and also collets on here and eventually this um, this pulley system although it's really efficient um, it's going to be replaced with a, a DC um, toothed belt um, with variable speed so but I'm just checking on what, what you know what's got the right amount of torque I think yeah, I can basically do a DC job but I can't it's the talk that's a problem right perfect more tomorrow